handles periventricular leukomalacia birth injury lawsuits on behalf of families. Periventricular leukomalacia, or PVL, is a specific type of injury to the brain which sometimes affects babies born prematurely or with a low birth weight. Babies delivered before 32 weeks or with a birth weight under 1,500 grams will have a 25% chance of being born with PVL. In babies with PVL, the white matter in the ventricles of the brain becomes damaged or decayed. White matter is very important because it facilitates electrical impulse signals that the brain uses to control the rest of the body. The cellular decay of the white matter tissue creates voids or holes within the brain. These holes eventually fill up with fluid which results in the condition known as PVL. PVL can result in permanent physical and mental disabilities and PVL can have many long-term effects including cerebral palsy and epilepsy. PVL is caused by a decrease or restriction of blood and oxygen to the baby's brain during childbirth or earlier in pregnancy. This loss of oxygen is often the direct result of negligent medical care. The majority of PVL birth injury lawsuits our malpractice lawyers handle involve oxygen deprivation during childbirth. The medical mistake in these cases is usually that the obstetrician and nurses failed to act when there were obvious signs that the fetus was not getting enough oxygen. There are a number of conditions and complications during pregnancy that can interrupt or restrict blood and oxygen flow. Doctors have an obligation to properly monitor a pregnant mother and timely diagnose and treat those conditions when they arise. They also have a duty to effectively treat and manage these conditions in accordance with accepted medical practices. The reality is that OBGYNs and hospital delivery teams often make mistakes. Complications such as maternal infections, fetal infections, and others frequently go undetected. But more commonly, it's the lack of oxygen to the fetus during delivery that causes these things. Whatever the complication, the OBGYN needs to act quickly to prevent oxygen deprivation for any extended period. What our birth injury lawyers see too often is delayed responses and mistakes in treatment that could have solved the fetus's problem. These sort of medical errors can result from a variety of factors, including poor communication between doctors, failure to listen to what the baby is telling us via the fetal heart monitor, and failure to timely intervene with a C-section when complications arise. When negligent care results in birth injuries such as PVL, the financial, emotional, and physical impact can be devastating. PVL is a permanent condition that can result in cerebral palsy and other serious developmental conditions. Aside from the obvious physical impairments, these conditions can cause a lifetime of financial hardship. This is exactly why our legal system enables victims of medical malpractice to get financial compensation. If your child may have suffered PVL as the result of medical malpractice, call our birth injury lawyers today at 800 553-8082.